And hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Shadow Scythe Plays Galactic Brick Wars episode 10. No. 7, 8, no 9, no 10. Oh fuck it, I can't remember. All I know is, is that we are elbow deep in war with the Bricktoid Automata. And at this point it is going to put a lot of effort into basically trying to break the bare backs within this war so that I can break their backs within this war. I built the Hyperion Shrinker even though we don't have the 20% uh, maximization that would be given if you carried on up the tech tree for miniaturization but let's just carry right on with this. Now, is that Quirin Fleet? It is a Quirin Fleet. Oh, ho, ho. Whoa, 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 what? That was the Dreadlords. And fucking Peacekeepers as well. Jesus. Both at once. Uh, yeah, you can have accelerated agriculture. So that's both Dreadlords and Peacekeepers in one turn. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Right. My defenders. Rip apart a brick toyed ship. Uh, right, we desperately need more research. Right, so let's start replacing my older dead ships with newer defenders next turn you can take out the mining bases and then the defenses oh fuck off you guys are annoying the shit out of me why can't Quirum just wipe you out I'm traveling super Jews. I'm actually quite upset they managed to take out the economy starbase as well. Come on! Right, thank you! Because with that. Ah, uh, right. Right, right, right. Transport to the top. Right, let's build a lot of them. Decommission. Yes, get some more cash. Decommission. Yes, get some more cash. Decommission. Yes, get some more cash. Now then, you guys, if you want to go take out that mining base that we can't build for some godforsaken reason, then you want to head round to the next mining base. Can I now build over that? No, it would turn out I don't have the option. Right, then we can loop back around to Norpen. You want pulse cannons for a non-aggression act. No, because you're not actually at war with me, are you? No, you're not. Right. Uh, alarming news. Seems one of our ships has stumbled upon a dead ship. The crew has killed each other over a vast stash of credits found in the ship's hold. So far no one has mentioned the thefts. We're not sure what to do with the cash. Take the salvage fee. Victory. Oh, shut up. Right, they're blister interceptors. 
So he must have some kind of perk that allows him to do that. Right, ideology. Anyone at war with us receives a 25% penalty to approval. Yep. I want you to go to Norpan 3. Then I want you to take and hold Norpan 3. Right, pass. Then I want you to teach these little fuckwits the error of their ways. Because we've also just gotten planetary bombardment. Uh, right, okay, plus 15 approval, yeah, that's fine. You're the one on the other side. I'm not. Right? Right. Invade with transport. Planetary bombardment. Let's go. I have taken Norpan 3 from the Bricktoid Automata. Right, so what have we got? Research mind, research mind... Mechanized Collective Fusion Matrix. Well, let's keep the Fusion Matrix and get rid of everything else, shall we? Synthetic Pop Cap. I'm not synthetic, but the rest of those bonuses are just too good to pass up. Actually, cancel that one. Let's get a Durantium refinery all up in there. Purchase it. And what's going on over there? Ancient ruins. But it's not a selectable tile, is that one of the... I must have damaged that tile. But with Norpan 3... Planetary Bombardment... Right, let's get... Kinetic Acceleration... Idle Colony... Seeing as you're generating like most of my cash, let's get you on there... And there... And then carry on... And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you are supposed to rip a world out from underneath the enemy's feet. Our ultimate goal is to conquer the galaxy! Yeah, and I'm the lowest guy on the table, yet yeah, I'm also the one who just captured a fucking planet. I don't see you putting any effort into any of it, really, Vami. You're a fucking spoon. And where on earth... Ah, oh, that's what I was looking for. I'm about to get into a battle with a peacekeeper. Poof. 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 I was wondering where my surveyor went, and now I know. But their surveyor's also... No, no, that was a beam destroyer, and you're not paying attention to it. So you must be going after the Bricktoid. By all means, can continue going after the Bricktoid. I'll just continue over here. I'll actually eject one of these two ships because you can go to Rebecca 1.
Now then. The Quirum Carnate. Now let's go back and we would like to assure you of our continuing friendship. Now it's time for us to come to a trade agreement. Now you have lots of technologies I would like. But for now, <clears throat> I have to focus on what I need. And I need terraforming. I need these three technologies. I am very sorry. I'll give you planetary bombardment. No? Okay, what else can I even offer you? <clears throat> I'm afraid I can't. I could trade it with you for something, but I'm not going to outright offer it to you under any circumstances. Now then. On Scythia, we can get that up and going over there. Get that up and going over there. Get that up and going over there. Terraforming plant. Let's get that up and going over there. Get that up and going over there. Terraforming plant over there. Terraforming plant again. Get it up and going over there. Terraforming plant over there. Terraforming plant over there. <clears throat> now there is a pattern I'm trying to stick to with this because what I'm basically trying to do is increase the research potential of every one of my worlds. Now apparently I can't build a terraforming plant on Norpan 3. <sighs> Which is slightly annoying. But I can get terraforming operational on all of the other worlds. And then what is my power standing at? 174. <clears throat> now all... I really can continue doing at the moment. It's just producing more of these frigates and reinforcing all of the planets. You head over there. Uh, what now? What now? What now? Your military is so weak it's a miracle you haven't already been conquered. I just took a world. I took an entire planet. 24 billion machines were wiped out by about 3 billion of my troops. You know, that is multitudes. That, that's like seven to one. And I won the battle with my planetary bombardment technology. Whereas you lot are still too busy just... Nah, 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 nah. No. I won that fight. My military is more capable than yours because I have easier control over it. <clears throat> you lot are just a bunch of whiny little dick shits. It would be a fatal mistake to attack us. In fact, I'm already thinking that I should move on to the next brick toy automata world and then move on from there. Hmm. <clears throat> I agree. In fact, I'm hoping quite soon that I should be able to combine um, right eject chip defeat likely. 
Uh, because he's now armoured himself against kinetic attacks. <clears throat> right, okay. This is fine. So what did you come out of that battle with? A lot of fucking lumps. I should have kept a second one there. Live and learn, I'm, think I, I'm afraid. Live and learn. Now then. Quirum is going to come and attack that now. I am not giving you jack shit, Macy boy. Buy the power plant. Continue on our merry. Right, you've pissed off. Now then, in a very short amount of time, we have gone from having small corvettes providing defence to all of these worlds and being in peace, to full-blown frigate-scale platforms and regrettably being at war. I'm not going to give you interstellar survey. I may trade you for interstellar survey, but there is no way in hell I am going to give you it. How many more are we building? One, two, three. Right. Let's keep these upgrades going. And there we go. God, 30 population. That's ridiculous. Oh well, in the meantime, I am going to continue trying to slog towards victory, and I will see you in episode 10. So for now, thank you very much for watching The Shadow Scythe playing Galactic Brick Wars, and I will see you next time. Ta-ra for now!